Thank you, Sarah. Thank you for that prayer. I, I'm going to walk tomorrow in a different way. It reminds me of something that um, Frederico Garcia Lorca said, the poem, the song, the picture are but water drawn from the well of the people. We give it back to them in a cup of beauty that in drinking they may come to know themselves. Certainly the cup of beauty comes from the next two men I'm going to talk about. We know that the brilliant Barry Jenkins is an inspired filmmaker, writer, pace setter, and that he is quite handsome. <laughs> but tonight, we lavish praise on him yet again as a screenwriter. Barry Jenkins is, if Bill Street could talk, is talking, and it is saying it loud. The story captures a recollection in time culturally for me as a mature Negro Black African American woman that I realized might be foreign to contemporary eyes and minds. It won't be unfamiliar to contemporary hearts, which is right where this focused look at a generous slice of Black American life will land. His screenplay is a slow dance in your parents' basement or garage, an enchanting rollout of love, James Baldwin's determined love for his people, Tish and Bonnie's new love for each other, James Baldwin, Barry's for Baldwin, Barry's love for Baldwin, and you just know that Jimmy would return the affection to Mr. Jenkins. Barry expresses the ever-ready rescue that folks like us have always launched for each other, and the steadfast stand-by-me that colored people have had to be for each other. He weaves a story that depicts the depth of love lived in darker hues, intertwined with the high anxiety and price of life lived in color. The power of Bill Street, like Moonlight, is in its contrast of an innocence we rarely see on screen with the hostile indifference of the world in which it struggles to live. Barry Jenkins interpreting truthfully, James Baldwin speaking truthfully, is not only great cause for celebration, it is a place of reckoning to which we are once again called by two anointed storytellers. Let's take a look at a clip from If Bill Street Could Talk. I love you. You know that. I do. And I understand what you're going through because I'm with you. James Baldwin's legacy is very important, very rich. I wanted to bring this book into the world intact. Just remember that I belong to you. Just remember that I wouldn't hurt you for anything in this world. Oftentimes you read a book and it's all interior language. Now this interior language manifested itself in imagery. It was no surprise to me when I finally understood that he was the most beautiful person I had seen in all my life. But the way I describe reading the novel for the first time and seeing it, to me the translation of it was going to be something that was faithful to the feeling I had when I first read it. The sense of awe. But like with everything in adapting your book, it was interesting to have this responsibility of revering this author so much. And as I went into the process of really learning, oh, he's revealing so much about himself. These are our children, and we gotta set them free. I think what he reveals is this, there's not one way to depict a black family. You know, I wrote this at the same time that I wrote Moonlight, what I'd like to say is, Moonlight is a family that I grew up with. You know, 
know, that's my mom, you know, that's where my home was, you know, this is what my whole life is like. And then Bill Street has these two families that maybe I could have had, or would have had, or should have had. Remember, love is what brought you here. And if you trusted love this far, trust it all the way. So I refuse to accept this without saying thank you to all of you. So thank you. Thank you. 